Hey church family, I just wanted to take this opportunity to provide you with another word of encouragement as we continue to pray for the end of this pandemic. Every day we continue to receive really good news about medications that are helping people to recover from COVID-19. For example, Dr. Vladimir Zelenko, he's treated hundreds of people who were diagnosed with the novel coronavirus, and he's using a three drug treatment, which include hydroxychloroquine, azithromycin, and zinc sulfate. And according to Dr. Zelenko, 100% of his patients have survived the virus with no hospitalizations and no need for a ventilator, and that's really good news. Another drug that's making headlines is remdesivir, which was originally created for the Ebola outbreak. And after seeing the success of this treatment with many patients, there's really good reason for us to believe that the FDA is going to fast track the approval of this medication so that it can be administered to those who are in critical condition after contracting the coronavirus. Another interesting treatment is based on the blood transfusions that have come from patients who have recovered from the coronavirus. Last month, a Japanese pharmaceutical company said it was developing a new coronavirus drug, which is derived from the blood plasma of people who have recovered from COVID-19. This approach is based on the idea that antibodies developed by recovered patients might strengthen the immune system of new patients. And so let's pray for these blood transfusions, which will help those with the virus to quickly recover. Now, at the same time, I would also point out that there's a spiritual blood transfusion that we all need. And we all need this spiritual blood transfusion in order to overcome the sin virus that our parents passed on to us at the moment of conception. Knowing that we were all born with the stain of sin, I'm happy to tell you that the cure for the sin virus, it's found in the blood of Jesus Christ. I like the way that the angel of the Lord put it in Revelation chapter 1. There he describes Jesus Christ as the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. He has washed us from our sins in his own blood. Those who trust in Jesus Christ, we receive the remission of sins because his blood was shed on our behalf. And as a result, the stain of our sin is cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. This was precisely the point that the prophet Isaiah was making in Isaiah chapter 1, where he declares, Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. That's right, the sin virus that we received at the moment of conception can be cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And with that being the case, let's go and encourage every unbeliever we know to receive the cure, the cure for the sin virus, which is found in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let's encourage unbelievers to trust in the substitutionary sacrifice of our Savior Jesus so that they can be cured from the stain of sin. Finally, I would remind you that you can join us for our weekly services, which include a midweek study, Wednesdays at 7 p.m., and our Sunday morning service, which is at 10 a.m. Both of these studies are streaming live online right here at calvarysouthaustin.com. Hope to see you here. God bless you.